Now that we know how to construct an MO diagram for a hydrogen molecule, let's make one for F2. Our first step is to determine the number of valence electrons in atomic orbitals. Each fluorine contributes 7 electrons, giving us a total of 14 valence electrons. For the atomic orbitals, each fluorine contributes 4 orbitals, 1 s orbital and 3 p orbitals, making the total number of atomic orbitals 8. The second step is to fill in the atomic region of the MO diagram. Because the two atoms are the same, we draw their orbitals on the same energy levels in the MO diagram. The s orbitals are drawn at the bottom of the diagram and the p orbitals are drawn above. Next, we fill the atomic orbitals with 7 electrons each for each fluorine. The third step is to fill in the molecular part of the diagram. The mixing of two s orbitals forms one sigma bonding orbital and one sigma antibonding orbital. In the top section, two of the six p orbitals will mix head-on to form sigma bonding and antibonding orbitals. The other four will mix to form two pi bonding orbitals and two pi antibonding orbitals. The usual order of these m orbitals is sigma, pi, pi star, and sigma star. However, when a boron, carbon, or nitrogen is one of the atoms in the molecule, then the order of the first two molecular orbitals switches and becomes pi, sigma, pi star, sigma star. In this case, we don't have boron, carbon, or nitrogen, so we stick with the original usual order. Now, this is our checkpoint. Let's make sure that the number of atomic orbitals is equal to the number of molecular orbitals. We had a total of 8 atomic orbitals, and we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 molecular orbitals. The last step is to fill in the 14 valence electrons into our MO diagram. And there you have it. That's our MO diagram for a fluorine molecule.